What's going on guys, John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to add text to speech for our translation app with PyQt5 and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to add text to speech to our app here. But before we get started, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap and going up very soon, so take advantage of that now. Okay, in the last video, we created this cool little translation app, and you can see we can pick the language to start with and the language we want to translate to. We can click translate and it translates it. In this video, I want to add text to speech. So now I've got some German over here. I'm going to translate it into English. And if you listen. Hello, my name is John. Okay, you could probably hear. Hello, my name is John. It spoke it out loud. And I did the same thing in my Kinter video a couple days ago. So this is going to be very similar. If you saw that, if you didn't, this is going to be really easy and it should only take a few minutes to do this. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the sublime text editor in the Git bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other PyQt5 videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got this stuff imported. In the last video, we imported Google Trans and text blob to do the actual translation stuff. In this video, like I said, we're going to do text to speech. So we need to head over to our terminal and install a couple of things. First is pip install pi tts x3. So that's pi as in Python, tts as in text to speech, version three, I guess. I don't know, x3. So I've already got it, so we're good to go. Now, some people have to also install something called winpy32. You probably already have it. A lot of times it will install it if you install this, but sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and do it. So let's go pip install pywin32. And I've already got it. So, okay, so far so good. Let's head back over to our code. Now we need to import that thing. So import pyttsx3 python text to speech version 3. Okay, that's all there is to it. So now let's head down in our code. And I'm not going to go through this code. We did this all in the last video. If you didn't see that, check the playlist. You can watch that video. But we want to come down here to our translation section. And this is where we're actually translating the text, right? And it's creating a variable called words. And that's where our translation is sitting in that variable. So here we're just outputting that onto the screen. If we wanted to, we could now speak it as well. So first we want to initialize the speech engine. And we just want to create a variable called anything you want, but it's a speech engine. So I'm going to go ahead and call it engine. And then that's just a pi tts x3. And then we want to initialize this. So dot init. Okay, so that looks good. Next, we want to pass words to speak into the engine, right? So that's just engine, which is, you know, just this variable we created right here, dot say. And what do we want it to say? Well, we want it to say our words, because remember, our words up here are already defined as the translated words, right? So that's all there is to that. Finally, we just want to run the engine. So this is very simple. We just call it engine dot run and wait, and that's a function. And you'll notice that the A and the W in and in wait are capitalized. So okay, that's really all there is to it. If we head back over to our terminal and run Python translate underscore speech dot pi, and here we can say hello. Hello. It translates it. Boom. And that's all there is to it. So we could test it. Hello, my name is John. Hello, my name is John. So you could see it doesn't do a great job with the language itself. So like we could maybe try a little something else here. What's your name? We hyphen S I E. Right. So we hyphen S I E. Right. It doesn't sound great. There are language packs you can download for Windows that you can then use with this. I'm not going to get into that in this video, but just strictly speaking, yeah, pretty easy to add text to speech to this app or really any app. The process is the same. So we can play around with this. If we want a little bit, we can come up here. After we initialize the speech engine, we can play with voices. Now this comes with two voices, a male and a female. So I'm going to create a variable called voices and set that equal to engine.get property. And then we want to pass in voices. And here we can say for voice in voices, we want to engine dot set property and we want to pass in voice and then the voice dot ID. 
And then we can come down here also and inside of here, pass in the words we want to say. So here, if we save this and run it, and then say again, hello. 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 You see, we get the female voice. So, you know, those are the two different voices you can play with. If you want to see exactly what those are, you can print voice, save this again, run it. Here we can say hello. Now, when we close this, we could see these are the two voices. So if you want to actually set it to one of those, you can. And the same thing, you could do the same thing with the voice ID. So you can see there's the name. Right. And these are just language packs that likely come with your computer. So these may or may not be the same as mine, but uh, pretty cool. So that's how you can add text to speech for a translation app or really any app and uh, really not much to it and uh, kind of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.